everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am gonna walk through a really quick demo of the new um, Readwise app for Android, which is out um, as an early release. It's still um, very much in beta, but it seems to be working really well. I've been playing with it for a couple of hours already today. Um, so I've installed it on my phone and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. When you first open it up, um, you can see that, um, actually, you typically opens up to your daily review page. Um, if you're not familiar with Readways, one of the things that it does is it serves up a specific number of quotes or things you've highlighted from past articles to you each day. I already did that um, in my Gmail earlier this morning. You can also um, open up what's called your feed from here. And take just a second here. And it'll just show you a random selection of things that you have read in the past um, and you can reread them, you can interact with them. Let's say that I want to go um, to Carol Dweck's book on mindset. I can actually click this drop down here, uh, arrow here. Um, I can copy the highlighted text if I want to put it into something. Um, maybe I decide I want to do a quick tweet storm on it or something. I can change how often I see this this item and then I can edit the book title or author if I want to. So you can interact with stuff right here in your feed. Um, I can also open it up and I can favorite it or edit the tags. I always take these tags off. Um, and I can also add it to mastery. So this is actually a spaced repetition system, a learning system that's built into Readwise, which is one of the reasons I love it. Um, although I don't really use it for that purpose. I just use it to sort of have stuff re-exposed to me on a pretty random frequency um, so that I remember it maybe get inspired by something new. Um, but today what I'm going to show you is actually the feature I've, I'm most excited about, which is um, being able to scan notes from a um, paper paperback or hardcover book. Um, you could also probably do this with your Kindle book if you didn't want to, for some reason, use the highlighting of the Kindle app. Um, with the integrations with Readwise, you can actually just automatically pull in highlights. Um, but I could see that if I was really working hard on something and trying to get like a structure in my head, I might use it for that too. I haven't tested that, but I think you probably could. Um, so we're actually going to um, just add a couple of highlights here from um, the old, the original version, the OG of Getting Things Done by David Allen. I um, got this book back in, I think the um, early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. Um, and I've wanted, I've had this idea in my head to do a side-by-side -side comparison of what I highlighted and took note of in the original version versus what I highlighted and took note of in the 2015 version to sort of see how my intention with the book changed over time and with the content. But to do that, I need to get my notes into the system. So we're going to start with this little note here. And this one's great because I actually want to edit a little bit um, what I highlighted just to get a little more context in here. So we're going to see how we can do that. So I'm going to go here on the app to add highlights and um, you can force a sync from anything that you already have set up via the Readwise app or you can manually type in highlights. That's what the little pencil icon is for. But we're going to use the camera. So I'm going to turn on the camera. The first time you do it, you do have to allow camera permissions. I've already done that um, and you just put it over the section that you want to highlight. You can zoom in um, as much as you want to. I'm just going to go about like that and snap a picture. And it'll take just a moment here to add the highlights. And you'll see these little blue um, pull bars come up. So I'm gonna drag them to the top of the section that I wanna include. And I'm actually, again, I'm gonna include a little bit more. And what you might notice here is there are a couple of these words of this quote over here on the left that are getting included. So I'll have to clean that up just a little bit, but that's fine, that's no big deal. So I'm going to hit save highlight and I'm just going to compare it to what's in the book. Oops. It never recommends recognizes and data sort in the system. No. Here we 
there we go. So that is by um, all means the most cleanup I've had to do on a quote. Most of them come in very, very well. Um, but it is a good idea to check them before you hit next, especially if it's like a library book or something like that. So I'm going to hit next. I could add a note to this if I wanted to. Um, and I'm going to add what I wrote in there um, when, whoops, when originally reading. Lots of post-its. I have no idea what that meant, but it was, you know, more than 20 years ago, so that's okay. It's kind of funny to see that kind of stuff. I'm um, in the margin. Then I'm going to add the page number, and it goes on page 16, and I'm going to add this to the book. Okay, perfect. So it's there, and I can see all of the thoughts that I have um, collected. One thing that I do... Um, wish was a little bit different about it. I'm going to hit this add another passage here and we'll just do this other item that I've got marked down here. Um, there we go. And hopefully we'll see a little bit cleaner quote this time too since this one is a little bit easier to get. Although it is clicking up some stuff from that other page. There we go. And then I'm gonna hit next. And you see here, when I add the page number, that I actually have to hit this book again. Um, so it could be just a little bit more efficient um, if you didn't have to do that, but that's one of those little minor time savers in something that's already um, saving a lot of time and giving you a lot of benefit. So then when I'm done, I just hit done. And then let's say that um, one last feature I'll show you, if I want to go look at my quote, my highlights from just that book, um, I can very easily go over here to browse. Um, I can look at sort of all my content by different areas, or I can come down here to the book and it'll take it just a second here. And you can see that I can see each one of my quotes here. I can also edit them. I can add notes to them from right here. So I can do even more work um, like this one. I came back in and edited after I added it. So you can do some more work on it here as you're um, playing around with the content. So that is a really quick tour of the new ReadWise app for Android that's out in early release. And I'm really excited about it and um, thankful to the folks at ReadWise for keeping on developing things I didn't even know I needed. So thanks everybody. Um, I'll put a link to the full article that shows some of the features in a little more detail um, down in the show notes. Check back later and uh, let me know if you have questions or other things you'd like to see. Thanks.